So, these past few days have had everyone in a stir because of the discovery of the Wrath of Machine exotic raid weapon, Outbreak Prime. I myself got excited just by the complex quest in order to acquire this weapon. I'm not going to go into that though. Much better YouTubers than I have already figured it out and made great tutorial videos on it. I'm going to go over my impressions and a few tips. Let's go over the perks. First up, the exotic perk, the Corruption Spreads. Enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon spawn Steven nanites that attack other enemies, fall and take extra damage. Then we have Smooth Ballistics, Accurized Ballistics, and Smart Drift Control. Then we have Outlaw. Precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. Then we have Lightweight, Handloaded, and Fitted Stock. Then the second exotic perk, Virulence. Precision kills release a SIVA nanite swarm that attacks other enemies. Now, when the nanites come out, there will be nine of them. I went on patrol to punch some numbers on your basic splicer drag. The base damage of each bullet is around 1,005 at close range. The nanites each do a little more than half of that number at around 531. Remember, there are nine nanites. So adding that together, that's the equivalent to almost two full bursts from this gun but only base damage. These nanites cannot land critical hits and do the three times damage that critical damage can do. However, notice from this clip how abrupt the range drop off is from this gun. Nanites do not have range drop off. So you'll always do almost two full bursts worth of base damage as if you were right next to your enemy. Now, if you don't know this already, there is a way to tell if the gun is ready with nanites. Actually two ways. One is the obvious red clouds surrounding the weapon. The other are the two red diamond-shaped lights on the sides of the sights. They will go out if the virulence perk is activated and will come back on after 10 seconds. Yes, the nanites have a 10 second cooldown. However, this does not affect the perk, the corruption spreads. You maintain that virulence charge if you are, say, hitting a boss continuously activating the other exotic perk which requires four full bursts into your enemy before those nanites come out. And from what I can tell, it's the same count of nine nanites doing the same amount of damage. And there is no cooldown on this. Every four full bursts that land on the enemy will spawn nanites. Missing just a single bullet from one of those four bursts will disrupt the count and no nanites will spawn. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get nanites on this fallen splicer walker. Now, some already seem a bit underwhelmed by what the gun can do, especially because how hard it is to get one of these, which I understand. But what I don't think they understand is that I believe that if you are putting damage on a boss or a group of ads, that over time, all those little tiny numbers of damage will add up to quite a bit. Will it out damage, say, the new Chaos Dogma scout rifle on the boss? Maybe not, or maybe it will. I didn't do that test. And it also depends on the range, which in these clips I was using fitted stock so that I could get precision kills easier, but since then I've switched to hand loaded to increase the range, which I do recommend you doing. The stability is already good enough. So what do you guys think? Did you get this gun yet? If you have, then do you like it? Did I miss anything or get something wrong? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.